Chase Tunnel here for uh, beachcombing this week. Somebody mentioned last week that they wanted me to be able to do uh, beachcombing on the jetties. So here we are, we're in Port Aransas, and uh, maybe I'll tell you a little bit about the jetties, and then we'll get to see some of the stuff that's swimming around them uh, and floating on the surface in here that's going uh, you know, in and out of the channel. Uh, but this, uh, let me show you here. So to orient you, Gulf of Mexico, ship channel, jetties. I'll try to hide the uh, microphone here. Let's see what we can see. But these jetties were put in in uh, the early 1900s, around 1920s, I believe. Um, and that was to keep the channel in, in one place. Because you can't see it from here, but uh, there's actually a lighthouse that's about a mile that way. Uh, called Lydian Lighthouse. It was built in the er, in the mid 18 uh, 1852 1854 somewhere in there. But it was a mile that way uh, to the north, and it, that's where the channel used to be. But you know, over years and years, that channel just moves around, and so to keep it in and that's what channels do. Uh, but to keep it in one spot, uh, they put these uh, big granite rocks down. And then the, the smaller rocks as it goes uh, out into the channel and so ships come in and out um, the depth is uh, I believe around 55 feet in the middle and you know it kind of slopes up and so a lot of cool things you can see here uh, one is turtles there's always a lot of turtles out here and they're um, down here feeding on the brown algae so let's see if I can get down here So they're they're eating all kinds of stuff in here, uh, and there's all kinds of algae. There's this green algae here too. If we're lucky, if I, well, if I'm lucky and don't fall in, but you can see there's sargasm floating here as well, uh, and mixed in with that, uh, there's some different types of seagrass, and so I can see. The shoal grass, which is the, the common seagrass that you find like in the upper Laguna Madre, uh, out at Ranzas Bay. Uh, and then the thicker type grass is floating out here too, uh, turtle grass. And usually you find that um, right here inside uh, the channel in the, the deeper areas. Um, and so that, uh, that provides uh, structure, food, all that. Look, there is a turtle. There's a turtle right there. Can you see that? Looks like he's sleeping down there. Little green sea turtle, right, a couple years old. Look, I wonder if I put, put my camera in there, if he'll pop out, if I don't fall in. Let's see what I can do here. Just coming up from where, uh, seeing what I was doing. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, some other stuff that you find here. Unfortunately, um, some of the stuff we find is a lot of trash. So anything floating out in the ocean, of course, you know, you can get caught up in here. So you see a lot of water bottles. Um, it's the top to a some kind of something or another. But it's just, it's massive. So what we do at Mission Aransas Reserve is uh, we come out and we have cleanups out here sometimes. So we'll come out here and, and clean up all the debris as much as we can. Whoa, look at those big turtles. Look, there's two real big ones right there. Oh, and, and two small ones over there. One, two, three. Four. Ooh. 
Look at that. Awesome. So that's the cool part of it is you get to see sea turtles and stuff. The bad part is all the trash and stuff, but that's why we try to come uh, clean it up. Now, if you get real close down here, uh, you, there's all kinds of life living down in here. And so these little uh, periwinkle uh, snails, see these? Ooh, they stick on there real good, but uh, small and slimy. There's, there's a bunch of those out here. Put that one back. Now you see this uh, white looking algae? That's just uh, dead algae that's uh, been exposed for too long. Uh, the sun bleached it out. Uh, so it should that, that part, that kind of algae should actually be green. Okay. Okay. Um, if you ever get a chance, you ought to come out here to some of the other things you find. And here's something right here. It looks like a, they call them sea roach. Uh, it's like a roly poly on steroids. Um, but you can see them just crawling around up here. They're kind of, they're real skittish. But, uh, let's see if we can find one. Well, you probably know what, what a, uh, what those look like. Okay, some other things you find. Uh, there's crabs living all out up in here. If you ever get a chance to go um, snorkeling out in here, um, you can find all kinds of cool tropical fish. Stuff that you thought would be from the Caribbean, it's actually found right out here. Uh, so we're, we're pretty lucky in that. Today's visibility looks like it's about four to five feet, something like that. But on a really good day, usually in August and September, you can find days, um, you know where you can get 10 to 15 feet uh, and that's a perfect time to be able to go out uh, we also try to participate in these events that they go out and they scuba dive to get uh, fishing gear and uh, monofilament fishing lines stuff like that cut that stuff out uh, because turtles of course get entangled in that stuff like that but i'm just going to sit here and enjoy looking at the turtles uh, if y'all have any more suggestions of things that I ought to do for the beachcombing, feel free to put them in the comments. And with that, we'll see you next time. Bye.